You know that song uh, from a ways back now, Girls Just Want to Have Fun? I am not going to sing it, but it's possibly stuck in your head now if you're old enough to have ever heard it, and I think that is excellent. This is Digital Marketing Mastery for Lawyers. My name is Chris Hargraves, and you can find more of this sort of stuff if you like it at digitalmarketingforlawyers.com. And the last couple of episodes have gone tragically longer than what they are supposed to go. So I want to make sure this is short and sharp and punchy. And the main point, the big takeaway, the thing you need to hear is this. Stop being so unbelievably boring on the internet. That's it. Stop being super, 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 super boring and afraid to demonstrate some kind of personality or sense of humor, for that matter. I'm not talking about cynical or sarcastic. That's not that humorous after about 0.5 times. You just start to look like someone who's angry at everybody. And it's very hard to pull off sarcasm on the internet because it can get misinterpreted. So, what am I talking about? I'm talking about being a little bit more lighthearted in the way you write your blog posts, in the way you present your videos, in the way you comment on people's articles. Be prepared to have a bit of a laugh on the internet. There are two real fundamental ways you can drive relationship with people. You can have fun with them on a regular basis where they associate you with that good feeling, or from what I've heard, You could go to war with them, and you could develop camaraderie through adversity. Not necessarily war, maybe you get shut in a room together for 12 months to work on disclosure or something like that, and rather than go insane, you decide at the very least that you can rely upon each other in that circumstance. Because you don't necessarily want to just drop a ton of bricks on someone and make relationship through adversity, I recommend the first, if you have the option. Just have fun. What a lot of people have a tendency to do is they they take their lawyerness and they twist it into this sort of caricature of humanity that needs to be serious and articulate and intelligent and use multisyllabic words as regularly as possible. And as a consequence of this, they kind of just aren't very interesting to be around. Now, if your personality is genuinely that, then be that, if only because it's the easiest thing to do. And some people will simply appreciate the fact that you are an intellectual and you are perhaps a little bit more serious-minded. That's fine. I'm not saying pretend to be a clown if you're not a clown, nor am I saying clown around at all available opportunity either. What I'm saying is, if you are, if I were to meet you in real life, a fairly affable, friendly person who with an easy laugh, who cracked a joke from now uh, every now and again, then be that on the internet too. That's it. That is my message. It is not even that difficult because it's actually far harder to manufacture a personality than it is just to have one. So I'd suggest all other things being equal, just being yourself to some degree on the internet. We don't need to go into sort of sharing too much information categories here, but being yourself is by far the easiest strategy. But don't be afraid to have a little fun. Don't be afraid to to share something witty every now and again. Like I said, it's it's not really rocket science. It's just people will associate you with someone who is both an expert in their field, but prepared to have a bit of a laugh at their own expense, perhaps, from time to time. That is it. That's all I've got to say. And I stuck under the time limit, which is excellent. So I am going to leave you after I ask you to click all the subscribe buttons and to leave reviews and say nice things. If you have any questions or topics you want me to deal with, then you know where to find me. I'll see you next time.